Hello, Andy from SSL here. Thank you for joining me for this special product preview of the SSL 360 Link plugin. Since the release of UC1 back in May 2021, there's been one particular thing that many of you have been asking for, and that's to open up UC1 to control third-party plugins. So today, we're super excited to give you a sneak preview of our forthcoming 360 Link plugin, a tool that will make your requests a reality. And the best news of all, 360 Link will be completely free, meaning that anyone can supercharge their UC1 controller. 360 Link works by hosting your favorite third-party plugins inside of it. The format of the plugins it hosts is VST3, but don't worry, Link itself will be available in all popular plugin formats, including AAX Native, AU, and VST3. This means you can use your third-party plugins with UC1 across exactly the same range of DAWs as you currently can with our native channel strip 2, 4KB, and 4KE plugins. We're expecting 360 Link to be ready for release around about the start of March, so not long to wait till you can get your hands on it. But for now, let's take a sneak peek of Link in action. In this session, I'm using a mixture of 360-enabled channel strips, such as Channel Strip 2, 4KB, 4KE, and now, as you've guessed, thanks to Link, a range of popular third-party SSL channel strips beginning here with the Waves EV2 plugin, already fully mapped to UC1 from the EQ section, the filters, dynamics, input section, and more. And on this track, I've got the Universal Audio 4000E strip being controlled in the same way. These are just two examples of third-party plugins, but 360 Link will ship with the selection of factory maps for many other popular channel strip plugins, such as the Waves E and G channels, the Brainworks SSL E, G, and J channels, CLA Mix Hub, Harrison Fast Track, and even the Slate VMR loaded with SSL modules. In fact, 360 Link goes way beyond what we're showing here. Because it can work with any third-party plugin, you can map a whole host of other things to it, whether that's non-SSL channel strips, or even just your favorite workhorse plugins to provide as much muscle memory operation as you like. For example, here's the FabFilter Pro C2 compressor which I've mapped appropriately to UC1, as you can see here. As there's no dedicated attack control, I've simply mapped it to the range knob below. Usefully, as with all the dedicated controls, when I turn the knob, I get a readout of the actual plugin parameter on UC1 screen, along with the value. You can even relabel these if you like using Link. Creating your own map from scratch is super easy too. In this instance, I've got X Valve Comp instantiated. Put Link into mapping mode by pressing the settings cog like so, and then simply click and turn. Or turn and click. Mapping a whole plugin takes no time at all. A few final things to show you. The drop down list in the center allows you to quickly call up your favorited UC1 map plugins. You can open the plugin library to mark favorites using the star icons. You can even choose a default third-party plugin to automatically load when you insert a new instance of Link by marking it with a tick. Finally, as you would expect, plugins hosted within Link show up in the 360 plugin mixer, a place to view and control all of your UC1 plugins in one easy view for a truly console-like workflow. The hosted plugin name is shown in the top area here. As usual, all 360 plugins, including Link, can also be controlled from UF8 and UF1 set to the plugin mixer layer. For those using VST3 DAWs, such as Cubase, Live, Studio One, Reaper, and Luna, you'll enjoy the same enhanced VST3 DAW control via Link that we introduced in 361.6. And you can even use empty Link plugins across the tracks in the session to keep the CPU low whilst maintaining DAW control across all tracks. Thanks for joining us for this preview video of SSL 360 Link, the update you've all been waiting for. As mentioned, we're expecting Link to land towards the beginning of March, 
so keep your eyes peeled for the official release date. When that time comes, you'll be able to download the plugin itself from the SSL Download Manager, and we'll be providing further details on how to access your complimentary license also. In the meantime, please check out the SSL product pages for the rest of our preview information regarding UC1 and 360 Link, including SMAP AQs. That's all for now. See you next time.